I grew up in Montana, then I coached in the South for a long time, and then I moved back there, so I've been both. So is this just open to question or what? Uh, I mean, you basically start off with like an opening statement and then okay. just open it up and then throw some questions at you. All right. Hi. Hi. Sorry. No problem. I apologize if this has already been asked. But, um, it hasn't. <laughs> we haven't started yet. That's all right. It's like that moment where you're just Yeah. That's all right. We'll start. I guess we can start right now, huh? It's past the time. I don't see anybody else here. But. All right. Um, Coach Petrano, University of Idaho. Uh, it's good to be here. Um, we're very excited for this season. Um, I think the, the things that we're most excited about is, number one, our experience. You know, we got a three-year starting quarterback coming back. Uh, we got four offensive linemen coming back that have 82 starts. Uh, I think that's kind of where everything starts on the offense is your quarterback and your offensive line. Uh, between our receivers and tight ends that are coming back, we have over 150 uh, receptions from last year uh, returning. That's very exciting. And, um, you know, our running back, we did lose our running back, but we have three young guys that I really think have a chance to be, to be really good football players. Um, our second thing is our depth. I think it will be the first year since I've been there that defensively we'll actually have, a, have depth on defense so we can run in you know, two different groups in the defensive line. I think that's we've really played with anybody for, for three quarters in the league the last couple of years, but then we kind of gotten worn down in the end, but we'll have some depth this time, this go, this go around. Um, in the secondary, we have four starters coming back and some really good guys that we recruited. So there will be great competition across the board, really good depth uh, across the board, and um, it's no doubt going to be the best, best team we've had since I've been there. And, and we look forward to, um, you know, our expectations are to go to a bowl game. And if it's anything less than that, then we'll be disappointed. And that's what we expect to do this year. Alice, right, open it up for questions. Coach, you uh, got a veteran defense. How, we, how are they working to improve on defending against the run? You know, that's just something that um, I think the depth and, and getting a little bigger and, and more physical in the defensive line, that'll help us. Um, I think we're going to be really good at linebacker. Caden Ellis was an All-American freshman last year. Um, Tony Lashley is a kid that will be a sophomore that didn't play last year. He was injured but played two years ago and was a good player for us. Ed Hall is another sophomore. Though Those are all uh, um, young linebackers that I think are going to be good players. Up front, Twainy, um, who's here with me today at the, at the Sunbelt Media Days, is, is our three technique. He's a big kid that's going to help us up front. Uh, Glenn Antoine's a kid that played a lot last year. And then we have a couple new players that have came in, and Akeem Coleman and, and, and some other player, and Kevin Shelton returning. So I think up front, We'll, we'll have better players. Our linebackers are going to be good, and, and we expect to be a lot better against the run. Given the circumstances around the program, is there a lot of – are you able to build off of this is our chance, this, these next couple of years are a real chance to go to bowling? Or, uh... You know, we're not looking that far ahead as a team. As coaches and as players, we're just worried about this year. You know, we're going to take it one game at a time. We're going to control what we can control, and that's that's improving every day, getting better every day, and, and going out and playing as hard as we can. and and making sure that we win six or more games so we can go to a bowl game. But we're really not looking past as coaches and players together or not. And as a coach with the staff, you have to look past in recruiting and, and planning for the future. But, but with our players, we're just worried about this year. And you miss uh, Arkansas State and Georgia Southern on yes. the conference Yeah, that's an advantage, yeah. no question. And, when, and you bring that up, that's definitely an advantage when you don't have to play those two because – you know, they've been two of the best teams in the league, you know, year in, year out. So uh, that definitely helps, and, and, and then that's getting a little bit of a break. So uh, we just, you know, we still have a tough schedule, a lot of good teams, but we just got to line up and try to, you know, improve each week and, and take them one game at a time and get enough wins so that we end up uh, in the mix at the end. Yeah, probably. Yeah, definitely. I think there is as, as both as coaches and as players. And, um, and we have a lot of, you know, these next two years, uh, our team has, has got a lot of juniors and seniors. So the, those guys, you know, it's their last couple years um, 
playing and, and both the, the senior and junior class, they, they will finish out just at the same level that they came in at. And, and I think they want to go out proving exactly what you said, that they, you know, that they, it was, it was a division they should have been at and, and they can go win at. Both, both. I think you got to start looking at your numbers and how you're going to get to the scholarship numbers that you need to be in two years, so that make sure that you're uh, immediately eligible for the playoffs when you do go when you do make that move, and then and then also just strategy of where you're recruiting and what you know the players that you are recruiting. You know, that, you're in an unprecedented situation as a program uh, moving forward. How do you adjust recruiting? Uh, I mean, do you have to just aim at um, be a little more selective on, on some of the guys that you take, and then you, and then in two years, it'll be the first time in a, you know back since I was an assistant there a long time ago that you'll have some scholarships that won't be full rides. You know, you'll give out some partials, and that'll probably be the biggest difference. But that will not start for you know two more years. You know, the guys that we're guys we're recruiting right now um, for next year will still all be on full rides, but the following year after that, then there'll still be some that are, but there might be some that aren't. Um, you know, I've tried to stay away from talking about any of that kind of stuff because I'm the coach and I got to sell my players on whatever we have. And I've, we're going to just kind of worry about what we can worry about from answering those type of questions, to be honest with me, because it could, it, it just not, a, it's a, it's not, it's a, it's not a winning situation for me with, with some of the fans or players for that matter. Um, right now, I'm just selling them on the program, selling them how much better we've gotten and how we're improving, and and selling them on, you know, the University of Idaho and that, you know, the great academics that they're, the degree they're going to get, and and really the culture that we have, and if we can get them on campus, we have a good chance of getting them. All right, all right, thanks.